Hey guys, I thought I would do a breastfeeding update. I haven't done one in so long. Hey, sweet girl. Um, she is now 14 months old and one week. So I thought I'd update on where we are, leave it alone, babe, on where we are with breastfeeding. Yes, we are still breastfeeding. Um, and as many of you know, I am a full-time working mom away from home. So I do pump and give her express milk. She has always been a great nurser from the beginning. Um, and it just varies, you know, on how long she nurses. At first we did the block feeding, only um, nursing from one um, breast at a time for feeding. And that worked well for us and for her. And as she got older, she started eating from both sides during one feeding. Um, as you can tell, she's super fussy right now. We just got home from, um, from daycare. So she gets fussy and tired and... She's ready for dinner and bed. So in the very beginning, I had mastitis and that was not fun whatsoever. Um, if you get that, I am so sorry. I mean, it's not fun. Also had, of course, plugged milk ducts kind of often. Later on, maybe around six months, I got a milk blister. And that was a new experience. Um, I don't wish that on anyone either. It hurts. <laughs> um, and with that, I was, this was right before I think I started uh, back working. So fortunately, I was home to be able to do a Epsom soak and um, warm compress and let her nurse from that side. And it eventually um, uh, healed itself. Not that long ago, I had another one, but um, luckily that one wasn't as bad. And um, when I got out of the shower, it was just um, just warm and soft, and I just kind of peeled the skin back. And I know that sounds really disgusting, but if you're a nursing mom, I mean, you know, I mean, it's real. That's 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 how it goes. As far as our schedule goes with breastfeeding, pumping, um, everything right now, um, what we do during the week, I work Monday through Friday. Um, I go into work at 7.30, so my, and my husband doesn't go in until 9, so he takes care of her in the mornings. He, um, just as I am leaving for work, he is getting her up, getting her dressed, and gives her her milk in the morning. They play for a few minutes, and then he takes her to daycare at about 7.45. Um, and then I pick her up from daycare. I pump when I'm doing my makeup in the mornings. That's when I'm being the most still, and I put my pumping bra on, and that's what I do. Um, it's not fun if you are running behind like I do often, and you just really can't rush that. So you really can't rush your getting ready routine much at all. Um, so I pump in the morning around 6 o'clock up until about 13 months. I was pumping twice at work, um, once around 10.30 and once around 3 o'clock. Um, but just here in the last few weeks, I've cut that back and I'm only pumping once a day at work. And that is around 1 o'clock. So it's kind of midday through, you know, from my when I pump in the morning and when I nurse her for bed. And I never did a video on this because I really wasn't back doing videos again. But... The weekend of her birthday, her birthday is September 1st, we had her party on that day, which was Saturday, and um, Monday was Labor Day. That whole weekend was just a busy, busy weekend. We, um, we didn't really cook much at home because we had the party and, um, you know, some family in town, so we were not at home much to cook. So, we keep all of our frozen food and frozen milk in a deep freezer in the garage. And somehow when I was um, baking all of her cakes and goodies for her birthday party, the breaker flipped a couple times and then I just reset it on the switch in the kitchen where you can press the reset button. Um, and it was fine. Um, and uh, during that weekend, the power also flickered. So I don't know if it was the breaker or the power or what happened, but the deep freeze did not come back on in the garage. So that being said, Monday night after we went to the grocery store and we were putting groceries away, 
we realized that the freezer was not on. And everything inside was ruined. All of the meat, all of the breast milk, everything, everything, everything was gone. So yes, everything was gone. I had, I mean, all the work that I'd done with pumping, it, it was just gone down the drain. Um, I had about 400 ounces total. Um, and it was frozen in bags of five ounce increments and um, it was all gone. I broke down and I was in tears for the rest of the night. I mean, it was bad. It, I mean, it, if you have pumped before and have a freezer stash and it, that much is ruined, it, I mean, it's awful. I mean, it hit me really hard because this was the weekend of her one year birthday. I was already getting a little emotional about her not being a little baby anymore. She's growing up. She's a toddler now. And I was already kind of down about that. And then for that to happen, I just lost it. That was the only piece of infant that I had from her. I cannot get that breast milk back. So that was really hard. And at that time we were still fully breastfeeding, had not introduced anything else. Um, so I was worried that I was not going to be able to keep up with her demand anymore because my supply had decreased a little bit since I was pumping constantly um, and not nursing. Um, so I freaked out. I went on Operation Boost Milk Supply Mode and um, so I started taking fenugreek. I started making lactation cookies. I was eating oatmeal. I was, I drink tons of water anyways, but I was drinking even more water and um, I think I did notice a little bit of a boost in my supply, but I mean it wasn't a huge amount at all. Um, so then not long after that, I decided to start introducing whole milk. Uh, we decided to do organic whole milk. I was going to do goat's milk. Um, my husband was totally against that for some reason, so I decided, okay, I'll give organic whole milk a shot. Now, if she doesn't take it, or if she has some kind of reaction, whatever, to it, then I'm stopping it. Um, so, about 12 months, two weeks, we started giving um, half and half whole milk, organic whole milk, and breast milk, in her um, her cup of milk at daycare for the one that she gets around 11 15 um, and she is totally off bottles she only drinks out of sippy cups that is since about 12 months old so we just do sippy cups now um, she she took the um, the whole milk with mixed with the breast milk great um, at that time we were still doing two um, she would get her cup in the morning of breast milk around 7 and she would get two cups at daycare, one at about 11.15 before lunch and then one about 3 with snack and then um, at night time I would nurse her between 7.30 and 8. Um, so that was the only meal a day, the 11.15 that we did half and half. She wasn't really finishing the, the cup at 3 o'clock of her milk. She I mean, it started getting less and less that she was taking of it. So I said, if she's not finishing it, the milk's being wasted if she's not finishing the bottle because it's previously frozen. And um, so I decided to cut that feeding out. So um, for a little while now, we've just been doing the one cup of milk a day at daycare, and that's with lunch. Um, and we're still doing, um, I think what we do is about two and a half ounces of breast milk and then the rest of organic whole milk, which is about three and a half ounces, of, is, just fills a sippy cup up of what she gets. And she takes it great. On the weekends, she's not interested with in nursing during the day anymore either. So I um, pump once during the day and um, still give her a sippy cup with half and half. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, I nurse her for bed every day. Like I mentioned, she doesn't nurse for long. Um, it's getting shorter and shorter. It'll be five at the max, ten minutes, and she's drained both breasts. Um, so that's kind of, I mean, one night um, about a month ago, I don't even, one night she didn't even really want to nurse. She just, I would try to latch her. She just wouldn't have it, and she just wanted to lay down. So I put her down, and she went to sleep without nursing. Um, she's not a baby that likes to be rocked. She eats. She wants to sit up 
and she, I lay her down in her crib and she's fine. Um, every now and then she falls asleep with nursing, but that's not too often. That's if she's just like super exhausted. On the weekends, I do nurse her in the mornings and that's usually the best time of day that she nurses. So on the weekends, I nurse her in the morning. I pump once a day, like I have recently started doing at work. And then um, I nurse her for bed. Um, so um, she, she does have eight teeth right now, top four, bottom four. She is starting to cut the um, top first year molars. That is not fun. Um, she has never been a biter with nursing, so that's good. Um, her latch was different when she got the top teeth, and for about a week or so, it was kind of uncomfortable, and then she figured it out, and then she was good again. Um, so teeth aren't a big issue for us. So I guess that's about it. Um, we are still nursing. She is starting to wean herself. She doesn't really have as much interest anymore, and so, um, I mean, I'm to the point where... I really enjoy nursing her still, but I'm to the point where I am kind of over the pumping. It just, it's so daunting just to pump so much. And then on the weekends, we're so busy, and so trying to find the time to pump is really hard. Um, she's starting to wean herself. She's already had whole milk. She takes it fine. So I think I'm going to start cutting out the middle of the day pumping session and um, just pump in the morning and then nurse her at night and see how my supply does with that. Um, I'm going to start that soon, like probably this week, and see how it goes. And then um, I have not had a cycle back since having her, so I've not had a period at all. And so I'm kind of ready to get that back going so um, and get my body back before I get pregnant with number two. So um, that's where we are if I left anything out because this little monster has been fussy. Um, just leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. All right, bye.